Hey, so you're diving into the epic world of Baldur's Gate 3, ready to slay monsters and unravel mysteries. But hold on a second. Have you considered trying out some of the underrated classes in the game? Trust me, they may not be as popular, but they have their own unique charm and can bring a whole new level of fun to your gaming experience. So next, I will list five of the most underrated classes in Baldur's Gate 3 that you should definitely give a try. Let's start with the wizards. Sure, they may be a bit squishy and have a tendency to accidentally blast their allies with chaotic spells, but hey, nobody's perfect. Wizards have a whopping eight subclasses to choose from, representing different schools of magic. And guess what? They have the most spells available in the game, making them a force to be reckoned with. So, don't be afraid to unleash your inner spellcaster and wreak havoc on your enemies. Next up, we have the Druids. These nature-loving shapeshifters often get overlooked, but they shouldn't be underestimated. As a Druid, you can transform into various animals, from bears to wolves, giving you a wide range of abilities and playstyles. Whether you want to tank for your party, support your allies, or deal some decent damage. The Druid class has got you covered. And let's not forget the Circle of the Moon subclass, where you can fully embrace your inner animal and have a wild time. Now, let's talk about the Barbarians. I know, the name itself doesn't scream sophistication, but hear me out. Barbarians excel at throwing things and creatures, which can be surprisingly useful in the game. Imagine enemies standing near a cliff or a pool of lava, and you, as a barbarian, effortlessly shoving or throwing them to their doom. It's both satisfying and hilarious. Plus, when they go into a rage, they become absolute powerhouses. Next, we have the monks. Often overlooked and considered weak, monks have a unique playstyle that can be a refreshing change of pace. They rely on dexterity and wisdom, and while they may not have the flashiest weapons or armor, they make up for it with their agility and versatility. Monks have three subclasses to choose from, each offering a different type of martial arts mastery. And let's not forget the cool action mechanic of consuming key points. It may take some getting used to, but once you master it, you'll be unleashing devastating combos like a true martial artist. And last, but not least, seems like clerics in Baldur's Gate 3 are very cool, but not played that much by fans. Sure, they may not be the flashiest class around, but they have their own unique charm. Think of them as the unsung heroes of the game, always there to patch you up and keep you going. But here's the thing, clerics aren't just healers they have access to some seriously powerful spells and abilities that can turn the tide of battle. Plus, with the different subclasses available, you can customize your cleric to fit your playstyle. Want to be a tanky frontliner? Go for it. Or maybe you prefer a more sneaky, deceptive approach. There's a subclass for that too. Give the cleric class a shot in Baldur's Gate 3 and see for yourself just how fun and versatile they can be. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. So, there you have it, adventurer. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and try something new in Baldur's Gate 3. Give these underrated classes a chance, and you might just discover a whole new level of enjoyment and excitement. And if you liked my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. There, I have many more guides on Baldur's Gate 3.